Beauty Couture by Jen. Mwah. Hey guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make your red lipstick become the perfect nude lip blush. While red lipstick is a timeless classic, many of us can be quite reluctant to wear the striking look. So when you receive it as a gift like I did, and you don't like particularly like the shade, or you don't think it's quite right for you, you might be tempted to leave it in your makeup drawer until it's time to throw it away. But you don't have to do that. There are many ways to wear classic red lipstick. Today I'm going to show you one of those ways that I make it work for a natural everyday look. But first I'll show you what this red lipstick looks like when it's applied straight from the barrel to my lips. The lipstick that I'm using is Lancome's La Rouge Absolu in Red Light. As I said, the lipstick was gifted to me, so while I've used it when I've felt brave enough, it hasn't got a lot of use out of it. I do think it's a nice red, but I do prefer something that looks a little bit more natural for everyday use. So I'll just wipe my lips and I'll show you how to make it a nude blush colored lipstick. So to start off you'll need a nudish colored lip liner. The one that I'm using is CoverGirl Lip Perfection and the color is number 210 Seduce or Seduction. But you can use any lip liner that's close to your skin color and that blends in to your skin color almost completely. I'm just applying the lip liner on my outer lips to start with and working my way in. Using a lip liner to line your lips and to fill in your lips to change the color of your lipstick is great because it will keep the lipstick inside the lip area and prevent it from bleeding. Try to make sure that the lip liner is applied evenly all over your lips and try to fill any gaps. Make sure that it's really completely covered so that you won't have any differentiation in color when you add your lipstick. That looks about right. Now it's time to apply your red lipstick. I'm just going to apply it straight from the barrel just like I did earlier and make sure you cover every nook and cranny of your lips because you don't want to any of the nude lip liner to show through. And you can see already the lipstick has already changed in look and it's just quite a light nude lip blush color. It's not too red, it's not too pink, it's just something that just blends in and gives you a quite all natural look. I've just zoomed in so that you can have a better look at what it looks like up close. Now if you don't have lip liner, you can achieve a very similar look by using a concealer on your lips. The one that I'm using is YSL's concealer um, in number three because I think that suits my skin the best. And as you can see, I'm applying it straight from the barrel to my lips and I'm just going to blend it in with a brush. Oh, where did my lips go? <laughs> They're totally blending into my face. And this is what I totally don't like about a lot of nude lipsticks. It really just makes your lips blend into your face. And so I prefer something that's nude, nude and natural looking, more like a lip blush that just accentuates your lips and doesn't quite wash you out. So this, this look really works for me. Um, as you can see, I'm applying the lipstick straight from the barrel once again on top of the concealer. Because the concealer has lightened my lips so much, you can see that the effect of the red lipstick is much lighter than with the um, nude lip liner. However, the benefit of using a lip liner is that your lipstick will stay in place and it won't bleed out. So it, it really depends on you and the look that you're going for, but I would recommend using a lip liner over this. 
but if you really don't have a nude lip liner or don't want to spend the money, then this is a great alternative to achieve a similar look. Alright guys, I hope this inspired you to get creative with your lipsticks and gave you some ideas to get more use out of a lipstick that you may not use very much. Please give it a like if you found this video useful. If you have any comments, please let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, have a nice day and don't forget to smile because that's your best beauty asset. See ya!